were you watching in excitement and then horror 29 years ago today when the space shuttle Challenger exploded seconds after takeoff? Christian Hauser shows the unique way students today reflected on that tragedy. Here at Mission Control, they're not only teaching students about the Challenger explosion nearly 30 years ago, they're also trying to ignite a love of learning and maybe even get a few of these students to choose a path in science. The young astronauts started their mission off at the debriefing, then headed into the shuttle for the launch. Five, four, three, two. This was the first place for many of the kids that they were learning about the tragedy that killed seven people, including Krista McAuliffe, the first teacher in space. We learned even more when we got here. So I, I just think of this place whenever I remember the Challenger. Many of the students can't get over all the things they get to do. They cannot believe that there is a place like this where they can do the things they do, where they can actually be scientists, engineers, astronauts. But it's more than just fun and games. Instructors try to show the children how much of an impact the Challenger explosion had on the country. They need to understand, and we do try to share with them, the importance of this and how it basically stopped space exploration. The shuttle missions began again, but the program was scrapped in 2011. Students here are just grateful to learn a little bit about the tragedy and get a taste of an astronaut's life. These Challenger Centers were a really good idea and it's very lucky of us to have one in here, Dayton, Ohio. There are 40 other centers in the U.S. and one in Canada, one in the U.K. and one in South Korea. Reporting from the Challenger Learning Center, Christian Hauser, ABC 22 News. Locally, nobody was more shaken up by the Challenger explosion and Jim Rowley, he was a finalist competing with Krista McAuliffe to become the first teacher in space. Mr. Rowley watched the disaster on television with his students and helped establish the Challenger Learning Center.